Namaste my darlings, welcome to the mat. For those who don't know me, my name is Bethany and I am the Yogi Witch and welcome to today's brand new yoga flow. So today's yoga flow is entitled free and it's actually been inspired by my day so far. I know it sounds very dramatic but after a crazy anxious uh, few days being unable to get out of bed, really leave the house. I taught a class this morning, went cold water swimming with some new friends and just felt so inspired and so uplifted and yeah, I just want to kind of bring that energy to the mat today. So like I said today, this flow is called free and it is a 20 minute energizing and uplifting power yoga flow. So not power yoga in the sense that we're going to really push our body so far past the point of comfort, but just free and energizing, uplifting in the sense that we are going to find a kind of movement 360 degrees around the mat just for 20 minutes, just to kind of release any energy that's been stagnant in us, to help us lift any clouds that have been in our mind and generally just dedicate some time to our well-being. So you don't necessarily need any props um, for this flow, but if you want to grab them, as always, you're welcome. But when you're ready, my loves, I will meet you back here in just a moment so we can get flowing. Okay, so to begin today's yoga flow, you're gonna come straight away into your down dog. So first, we make our way to our tabletop, stacking those shoulders on top of the wrist, hips on top of the knees, and from here, we're gonna tuck those toes under and lift the hip bones into the sky. Begin to pedal out one leg, pedal out another, finding a little bit of movement here. So we're looking for the alignment in our down dog, we want to roll the shoulders away from the ears, tuck the last tailbone in, <laughs> tailbone, tuck the last rib in and push the hips to the sky. Taking as much movement as you need to get yourselves comfortable here before we stay in our down dog for a five breath hold. So just starting to ground and connect with the earth beneath us, feeling those hip bones Shoot all the way to the sky. Holding for four, for three, for two, and for one. From here, we're gonna bring those big toes to touch. On our inhale, we sweep the right leg to the sky, bend this knee off, split dog. Take a deep inhale through the nose. On your exhale, we step this right foot on the outside of the right leg. And if it's too much in your lizard pose, you can drop the back knee, or maybe you stay with me. By tucking those toes under to lift this leg off the mat and moving to our full body stretch, we're gonna pivot on that back foot so we come to the side of the left foot, come to the side of the right foot, and we inhale to lift this right arm all the way overhead, coming to our lizard full body stretch. Beautiful. As we inhale, with control, exhale, we lower this back knee down, bend the back leg to come to our bound lizard. So opening up the spine here. Oh no. <laughs> if you are new to the practice today, this is Roanoke, my very naughty black cat. So take a deep inhale. Exhale, release the right hand to the mat, release the left toe down, and from here, we're gonna wiggle this right foot in between the hands, untuck those back toes. And we inhale, sweep those arms to the sky, low lunge. Exhale, find the fingertips behind the back, make a Kali Mudra with those index fingers. As we point those index fingers to the back of the calves, sink into the hips and open up this heart chakra. Yes. Keep those inhales and those exhales nice and steady. As we inhale, keeping those arms where they are, we tuck the back toes, lift this back leg all the way up, pivot on this back foot so it comes parallel with the back of the mat. And with control, we release those arms in to warrior two. So sink in to this front knee, finding length through that crown, roll back the shoulders as we inhale. Yes, on your exhale, we extend the front foot 
and immediately move to a wide leg forward fold. Maybe the head touches the mat, maybe it doesn't, but start to shift your weight onto your tippy toes, keep the heels down. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. We press into those hands. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, we're gonna walk through this wide leg forward fold to moving to the back of the mat, pivot on the feet. So the left foot is pointing towards the back of the mat. Right hand stays down, left arm comes all the way to the sky. As we inhale, yes. Exhale, we're gonna step or float this left leg on top of the right, move to the side plank. If you wanna increase it, whoop, you can lift those left toes up. Hold five, four, three, oh my God, two, <laughs> one. Come into your plank and make your way through your vinyasa. Inhale to roll back the shoulders, bend the elbows to cobra or extend them to upward dog. Exhale, let's retuck these toes, find our way to a down dog for five breaths. So remember, coming to the mat with a light-heartedness in our soul. If you fall, if you wobble, that is okay. That's not what we search for. We don't search for perfection in our yoga practice. We search for progress. And patience. And a little bit of magic. So holding for five. Four. Three two and one bring the big toes to touch the back of your mat we inhale left leg comes to sky bend this knee off split dog exhale draw this knee all the way to the chest and step this left foot on the outside of the left hand again if it's too much in your lizard you can drop the back knee down or you can stay with me by lifting it up pivot onto the side of the right foot pivot onto the side of the left and this left arm reaches all the way overhead. Come to our full body lizard stretch. Holding here for a few inhales and a few exhales. Yes, with control we inhale. Exhale, lower this back knee down nice and gently. Bend the back leg and reach around. Find this bound lizard pose, so opening up the spine. It's okay if you don't find that foot, remember. Progress, not perfection. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, release the back foot down, the left hand comes to the mat. And we're gonna wiggle those uh, left foot, sorry, in between the thumbs. And tuck those back toes. As we inhale, reach the arms up nice and high to the sky. Come to your low lunge. Exhale. Find the fingertips behind the back, pop this chest open, find that Kali Mudra. Little bit of a back bend here. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring the body into the centre, tuck the back toes. Get as much momentum as you need. We lift the back leg up, pivot that back foot and straight away find our way to our warrior two position. So rolling back the shoulders, find length through the crown, arms are nice and level. Holding for five, four, three, two, and one. We extend the front leg and immediately move to this wide leg forward fold. So start to pivot your weight onto the tippy toes. Draw the head as close as you can get it to the mat, using those hands for support. Beautiful. On your next inhale, we walk those hands forward to gaze to the top, uh, to the front of to the side of the mat, go somewhere. <laughs> and then we walk the hands back towards the top of the mat, pivoting on those tippy toes. From here, left hand stays down, right hand comes to the sky. 
you can stay here or maybe you moved to that floating side plank holding five four three two and one find your way to your plank knees up knees down inhale to cobra or upward dog exhale hip bones come high back to down dog beautiful so if you need to pedal out those legs you can pedal out those legs but remember it's just a quick 20 minute flow to energize to uplift so if you need to rest you can press pause on the flow or if you're ready to keep going you can come with me by bringing the big toes to touch inhale we sweep the right leg to the sky bend this knee off split dog drawing this knee into the chest this time we step it between the hands straight away we inhale find our way to our high lunge exhale pivot on that back foot first we come to a warrior two and then we bend right elbow right knee lift this left arm overhead come to your side angle beautiful gazing up towards the sky before we take a gorgeous little transition here so moving slowly we wrap the left arm behind the back begin to extend this front leg back of the right hand glides against this right leg and we move to our trikonasana pose so our triangle pose yes my loves holding five do not scratch me for four three two with control on the one we gaze down to the big toe bend into the front knee sweep the right arm overhead find our way to our reverse warrior bending into that front knee ah! take a nice deep inhale exhale extend the front leg release those arms and forward fold to your wide leg forward fold maybe the head rests the mat maybe you keep an eye on any four-legged friends ready to bite you i'm watching you i'm watching you he loves my hair this is the issue ah. <laughs> On your inhale, we <laughs> press into the hands to gaze forward. Exhale, we're going to walk through this wide leg forward fold all the way to the back of the mat. Pivot on those feet again. And from here, we're going to move a little bit differently. So get a bit of momentum. We're going to step the right leg to the sky. Come to a standing split. Now, if it's available and you feel all right, this left hand can stay to the mat. You can bend the right leg right hand finds the foot and find your way into sugar cane Whoop. holding for five four for three you've got it for two with one we gently step the right leg all the way back right hand stays down left hand comes to the sky first we move to that twist and if it's available you can move to that floating side plank again hold it five four three two and one move through that plank inhale to cobra all your upward dog exhale one more time let's take this flow hip bones come to the high sky even for down dog remember press pause whenever you need embrace this heat embrace this fire this magic you're creating my darlings as we bring the big toes to touch inhale let's sweep the left leg to the sky exhale bend this knee off split dog taking a beautiful deep breath in through the nose exhale draw this knee to the chest step it between the thumbs we inhale first to high lunge exhale let's pivot that back foot so it comes parallel with the back of the mat move in to our warrior two bending into this front knee as we inhale exhale left elbow left knee sweep the right arm overhead come to that beautiful side angle so a long line of energy from this heel all the way to the middle finger when you're ready 
God, this is spicy. <laughs> You're gonna take uh, that transition again into our trikonasana. Right hand wraps behind the back. Very gently, we extend the front leg and let our left arm glide against the left leg, pulling back on this right shoulder. Gaze up towards the sky. Five, four, three, two. On the one, we gaze down to the big toe, bend into the front knee, sweep the left arm overhead, find your way to that reverse warrior, yes. As we inhale, exhale, bring both feet parallel, untangle those arms, and we wide leg forward fold. If you have a tripod headstand you practice, you're welcome to come into it now, or if you're happy chilling with me in your wide leg, you can stay here. Move that weight onto the tippy toes, keep the heels down. If you're in your tripod, you can gently come out of it. Before we walk the hands forward, inhale, just straighten that back. Exhale, we're gonna walk through this wide leg, moving to the top of the mat. And again, hands frame that right foot as we lift the left foot to the sky. First, we find our way to that standing split. Now you can stay here, or this right hand comes to the mat, bend the left leg, reaching round to find the foot and come to sugar cane. Holding here for five breaths, in through the nose and out through the nose for five, four, three, for two, on your one, gently step back with the left foot, left hand stays down, right hand comes to the sky, you know what's coming, you can stay in your twist, or maybe you find your way to side plank, or even a floating side plank. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Final vinyasa. We lower the body down. Inhale, either to cobra or up the dog. Exhale, let's just tuck the toes, lift the hip bones to the sky. Say goodbye to our down dog here. I'm taking any shuffles that we need, not in the head, yes, yeah, shaking it now. If you have jumped through, you can jump through, or maybe you lower the right knee down, step the left leg on top, and move yourself just in to a comfortable seated position. Legs can be crossed, they can be extended, and just bring those hands to the knees for a moment. Rolling back those shoulders, sitting tall, sitting proud here. Feeling that heat radiate along your body, that magic in your soul. Just releasing any further tension with a few neck stretches. So we inhale to lift the chest. Exhale, we're gonna allow this right ear to float down to the right shoulder. Inhale to the center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale into the center, nodding the head, yes, shaking it now. Before we just finish this gorgeous little power yoga flow with three shoulder drops, shoulder, 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 shoulder drops. <laughs> Oh, if you're new here, please come back. On your inhale, we bring the shoulders all the way up to the ears. Exhale, drop them down. Inhale, draw them all the way up. Exhale, drop them down. Final time, we inhale to bring it all the way up. Exhale, dropping them down, taking a few little movements here. Coming back into the room. So just taking a moment to acknowledge how you're feeling right now. If you're feeling tired, you feel that heat, or maybe you feel inspired, you want to do more. 
and taking a moment to be proud of ourselves for the strength of our minds and for the strength of our bodies for not only bringing us to the mat today but also for doing the flow it is such a blessing to have the freedom to be able to come and practice yoga especially with such a beautiful little coven that we have here on my channel and I just want to take a moment to thank you so much for allowing me to be your teacher and for giving me the honour of joining you and your practice. I hope you remain inspired by the power of you and the power of yoga every day. And just a little reminder that I do upload three free flows a week. God, it's the first time I ever got that out without messing it up. Three free flows a week, so take a little look on my YouTube channel at The Yogi Witch. And thank you so much, my darlings, for joining me for this 20-minute power yoga flow where we embraced freedom, we embraced the wild inside, and I look forward to seeing you here again soon. See you later, my darlings.